Hi, I'm Vicky. I love books and enjoy reading. The first thing I do when I wake up in the morning is to read. If I go for a run, I listen to an audiobook. In my leisure moments, I read whilst enjoying some good music. Are you an avid reader or you're not learning how to read? Maybe you used to enjoy reading but somehow it has become a thing of the past. Come on this journey with my guests and I as we dive into various books and themes. These books talk about every week I speak to various authors who are behind life transforming books as well as promote various stakeholders within the publishing industry. The Kitty Zone segment on the show is meant specifically to ignite reading interest in your child. Watch the writer's blog on the station this and every Saturday at 4:30 p.m. and on Sunny 88.7 FM every Saturday at 1 p.m. This program is powered by Reveal Multimedia and supported by The Writer's Blog. Read, write, indulge your mind. Hello and welcome. Always a joy to come your way. This is The Writer's Blog Talk Show, a program that has been designed to celebrate and promote authors and their works. We are also seeking to promote other stakeholders within the publishing industry. If you've written a book, or you, ha- you are into some literary works and you want us to promote it for you. Just see the number on your screen now. Give us a call and we'll get right back to you. We're coming to you live from La Palm Royal Beach Hotel. Uniquely golden, traditionally Ghanaian, they say. They have amazing rooms, delicious delicacies that will help you as you come in to enjoy with your friends and your family. Uh, make sure you're making reservations, the calls and all of that. Numbers on your screen right now and make your way right here inside La. We are proudly powered by Reveal Multimedia and supported by Concielo, Carries Books, Anyedu, Ako Books Audio, Challenge Enterprises of Ghana, Cody's Beauty and Fashion GH, of course, La Palm Royal Beach Hotel, Very Clothing, Vic Hack Fashion, Side Farm, and FC Beauty. My makeup is by Kankesi FC Beauty. Today, we have an amazing woman who is doing her best I believe that she has been called for this particular area, restoring homes, relationships, marriages. Reverend Catherine Onyodukit, I hope I got that right, but we normally, popularly call her Mama Kathy. We will be sharing from her book, Secrets to Surviving Your Early Years of Marriage. And the subtitle is what intrigues me. How to navigate your first few years of marriage and stay married as long as you live. Stay with us. When we are back, we'll get talking to her. Cody's Fashion and Makeover is a one-stop shop for all your beauty needs. Our services include makeup, nail art, pedicure, manicure, braids, wake up, hairstyling, and so much more. Our fashion outlet churns out a trendy unisex African print designs for every occasion. So go on, wear Africa, wear Ghana. Locate us at Second Link Chapel Square, Sakomono. Contact us on 0545-988-607 or 0302-985-409 or 0504-227-113 at Cody's Fashion and Makeover Styling You is our hobby. Aco Books Audio makes African books accessible and available for everyone anytime, anywhere on a wide variety of mobile devices including computers, tablets and of course mobile phones. My name's Emma Dadson and I'm founder of Alco Books Audio, a digital streaming platform, an African spoken word experience provider. We transform African books into exciting and engaging audio experiences that make reading affordable, convenient and fun. We offer readers a library of top-notch African authors and literary voice talent through listening to audiobooks and audio programming. With over 300 titles in over 20 categories, including fiction, biographies, and children's books, we aim to be the world's largest African audio digital library, promoting audio literacy in English, French, and African languages.
Naudi Asante from Anyedu. Anyedu is a children's company, a multimedia children's company that wants to help parents to raise successful and blessed kids. We believe that all children have potential and it has to be unleashed. So we are helping parents to unleash this potential and especially for us as Africans, we believe that this is our time, this is when we can make an impact in this world. We want to raise a new generation of strong, confident, bold um, African children who would change the world, change the narrative of an African in the world. We are starting from Ghana. We are hoping that we will be able to reach the whole of Africa and let the children know that, look, they can do anything that they want to do because through Christ, all things are possible. My daddy, my pride. Treat your dad to a special Father's Day lunch at the Ghanaian Village Restaurant and Continental Restaurant Sunday, 19th June 2022 from 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. Welcome coconut upon arrival with special gifts for all fathers. Rate at Ghanaian Village Restaurant 230 Ghana cities for adults and 115 Ghana cities for kids between 5 and 12 years. Continental Restaurant 200 Ghana cities for adults and 100 Ghana cities for kids between between 5 and 12 years. Kids under 5 years eat for free. Come and enjoy live band and DJ music. For more information or reservation, please call 0268-710-684 or 0577-665-964. La Palm Royal Beach Hotel, uniquely golden, traditionally Ghanaian. Welcome back. This is the Writer's Blog Talk Show. Our quote for today, I have picked this quote from this amazing book by Mama Kasi. And it's from chapter 2 of the book. Marriage is not your idea, neither that of any human being. The originator and initiator remains God. Let me tell you a little bit about this great woman of God. Now, Mama Kasi is a leading expert on relationship, marriage, family, and personal development issues. She was recognized in 2013 by a Nigerian Tribune newspaper as the only woman amongst the top 10 most influential Nigerians in Ghana due to her contribution and positive impact on society. She is a graduate of political science, public administration, and the founding president of Family Renaissance International, FRI. She was fully ordained and licensed in 2004 with the mandate of God to preach the undiluted word with an unquenchable passion and fire. See the way I'm fumbling. I just love this woman of God. She's an end time anointed minister of God to the nations. Well, she's also into broadcasting and she does a lot of that um, echoes of Hope Radio broadcast on Sunny FM um, as well as over 12 years in Ghana and Planet 101.1 FM in Akwa Ibom State, Nigeria. She is happily married to Professor Emmanuel Onyudio Kids. I got it right, I'm sure. And together they have four wonderful children. Welcome, Mommy. <laughs> Thank you so much, Vicky. Mama Kathy, you know when you um, honor a certain grace and they come close to you, it's like you, you don't know what you really want to do. <laughs> But it's always a pleasure to have you, Mama Kati. Um, I'm just wondering how long you've done this and why the passion to restore marriages and homes? How long have I done this? Um, mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Vicky, for the privilege of sitting here. And a very wonderful day to every person that is watching this broadcast. Um, I've been asked how long I've done this. How do I answer it? <laughs> <laughs> as long as I can imagine. But precisely... Um, June 22nd will be exactly 20 years I have been on this matter of relationship, marriage, and family. Consistently. Wow. That's what I breathe. That is what I eat. That is what I wake up with and everything. Passion for the restoration of um, God's glory back to marriage. Because without that, the church can't work. The society won't work. Mm. That is the bedrock. 
And unfortunately, we are zeroing energy on so many other things outside of this. So I am passionate about it. And what brought me in here? Why will I be doing this? I said it recently in one of the interviews I had that I am not just one of the persons that probably went to a Bible school and ended up thinking or choosing this is what I would do. I was born for this. There are no two ways about it. Mm. I, it's not something that is blaring. No, 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 no. I was born for this. And so, Vicky, this is how I'll answer the B part of that question. Okay. I always tell people that I started secondary school somewhere in 1977, finished 82. But in 1978, 79, some things were happening in my school, okay, um, that best to why I am doing what I'm doing. Okay. And what was that? That God was writing on the sky. Not in dream, not in vision, not in trance, in real life, naked view of everybody and he will put his hands with a hole in the middle like this and you see a bird's feather writing in cursive very beautiful cursive handwriting on the sky behold i went through this for you you see the 12 candlestick the censer bought things in the book of revelation mm. scriptures upon scriptures on the sky at the end of the day i heard clearly without any shadow of a doubt and i know he said, I suspended nature to call you. And my, wow. my life had been a journey from one stage to the other um, pre in preparation for this assignment that started fully in 20, 2002, precisely, oh, yes. Okay. Okay. So um, that's why I am calm about what I do and I'm not in competition with, with anybody anyone, at all. Right. Mm. I am doing relationship, marriage, and family because I was trusted with literally everything I could think of in relationship, marriage, and family. Everything I could think of. Mm. Everything, everything, printable, unprintable, all of that. And I believe by the grace of God, probably I've passed the test so I can speak to other people. So I'm not doing relationship, marriage just because I've read up books or have... No, 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 no. Mm. Whatever I do with regards to what you see me do, is because this was the only reason I was born. That is the only reason. Wow. That's the only thing I live for. Wow. Wow. I wish most of us would, 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 would have the courage to say this, to be certain that this is it, that God has called me to. But really, you've written several books. And um, this one I see um, somewhere in 2016. Absolutely. And I'm saying to myself, all these revelations came way back then. And in real time now, it's really happening. Yeah. How to navigate through your first few years of marriage and stay married as long as you live. Secrets to surviving your early years of marriage. And that's the book we're discussing um, today. Mama Kathy, really, in our time, it seems so normal to either check out when you feel you cannot in a relationship, marriage, um, and all of that. What do you think accounts for that? A lot of things account for that, but I will zero on, in a, on a few. Okay. The capacity to manage pain, mm. unmet needs, mm. challenges, and misunderstanding is lacking. We are birthed into, most people are birthed into dysfunction. And so, because this function doesn't see things clearly, mm. the lopsided nature of how marriage is presented to most people. Why do I say this? Because most people are born into families that were never. Mm. It wasn't marriage. Mm. Some parents may have been together, mm. but most cases very toxic, very ungodly. Okay. And so the people who are checking out very easily now, they came with even the mindset that they will check out because whatever their fathers or mothers endured from each other, they were not ready they were not to endure ready it. To do that. And so when once they see any sign mm. of what they experienced or saw happening at childhood, they are not ready to take it. And so because the godly factor, the God factor, let me put it that way, mm. that was supposed to be the attraction modeled out, mm. was not modeled out, mm. Nobody is ready to pay a price. Number two, they check out because 
Most people do not understand what marriage is at all, in, including some people I don't want to mention <laughs> names. <laughs> you see, where purpose is not known, abuse is inevitable. Mm. People marry thinking marriage is, when, okay, let me put it this way. When you ask people, why do you want to marry? Because I don't want to commit fornication. Because I want a companion. <laughs> because I want help and support. Mm. Because I want somebody. Da, 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 da. Has nothing to do with marriage. Ay, Jesus Christ. Companionship is not the reason for marriage. Um, unfortunately, it's been preached on pulpits. It's not. Companionship is a fringe benefit of understanding marriage and marrying. What then is marriage? Marriage. Marriage is the packaging of two persons who understand that God never started a church, nor an institution, nor a business, neither politics, but started the family. Marriage is understanding that that place he instituted, that institution that he brought about mm. was attacked from the beginning. And that that attack is still very much alive. Hmm. And that God decided to bring two people that look like him to bring the attacker down to his knees and let him understand that he cannot overtake he God. But we are marrying for the wrong reasons. That's why I said so. So when you read Genesis chapter 1, mm -hmm. most people preach Genesis chapter 1 in error. Genesis chapter 1 is not the beginning. I now, am coming now, here now, to... Now okay. we are entering into theology. Yes, because <laughs> until we understand this, sincerely speaking, every marriage seminar we hold is mm. a for infertility. Mm. Oh God, it's a for infertility. It's good. Because marriage is not psychology. It's none of this spirit. No, it's understanding mm. what went wrong. Genesis 1 is a fallout of Isaiah 14, Revelation chapter 12, Ezekiel 26. So you understand that there was a time like what was revealed to Jacob, ascending, descending, ascending, descending. One of those times they descended. In the descent, the devil Lucifer said, I will go up, I will overtake, I will become like. Mm. And it's, it's, it's emphasizing two scriptures, Isaiah literally and Revelation 12. So now he made bold to carry out the threat. Mm. Revelation 12 said, and he came and war broke out in heaven. And Michael and the angels fought him. Mm -hmm. And he was cast down. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now, when he was cast down, knowing fully well, I always ask people, do you think this God we attribute so much greatness and excellence to will create something that is void and without form? Mm. Why have we not questioned? How could you create something that at the end is not good? When he was thrown down, this man called Lucifer came and messed up everything. But God did not reply him. He fixed it. And that is why we have Genesis 1. Okay. Okay. And after fixing everything back to the place that it was meant to, he came to Genesis 1, 25, 26. Let us make man in mm -hmm. our image, male and female. female. Marriage is as a result of God saying in verse 28 of Genesis 1, let them have dominion because there was somebody that had used up. Okay. And so he created man to replace him physically and deal with this fallen being. Mm. So marriage is meant to be a relationship between two persons who understand God, understand his holy estate that has been taken over by an arch enemy now. And then the two of them will join force, partner with God to the, to the, to the, to the barest minimum, and then say, Satan, not under my watch mm. will this continuity happen. So when I am married to a man or a man is married to me, we have to first of all look, assess, what damage has already been done in our bloodline? Okay. What are the ancestral limitations and dysfunctions that are there? Because we are coming to rewrite the, the story. Okay. So if there is divorce, delayed marriage, sicknesses, poverty, mm. all of that, that is why Amos 3.3 3 says, can two work together yeah. except they be agreed? Mm -hmm. Agreement is based on sitting down to hold conversation on where we are coming from, where we are going to, and what the modus operandi is mm. going to look like. Mm. And we define the rules of engagement. 
And in that, the two of us understand the unity we need to work with because a house divided cannot stand. Mm. So we begin now to say, in this new family we are starting, because we've realized why God created marriage, we want to nip the head of the enemy. Mm. So this, this, this will not do. And so how do the two of you, why, how will we conduct ourselves so that we can defeat him and ultimately raise a generation that will not will not have any doubt about who God is because we will model him so beautifully for him to follow us through. Wow. But we haven't looked into it. We are looking at who will give us sex, who will cook for us, mm. who will clean, mm. who will buy gifts for us, who mm. will tell me I love you 200 times. Those are fringe benefits for people who understand the assignment. Powerhouse of knowledge. And you head it off for yourself. When we are back from this break, really, we're going to find out how you and I can sustain our marriages and know really the mind of God as Pamakati has explained, so that you and I can stay and fulfill purpose, fulfill destiny. It's the writer's vlog talk show right here on this channel. Stay with us. My daddy, my pride. Treat your dad to a special Father's Day lunch at the Ghanaian Village Restaurant and Continental Restaurant Sunday, 19th June 2022 from 12 p.m. till 4 p.m. Welcome coconut upon arrival with special gifts for all fathers. Rate at Ghanaian Village Restaurant 230 Ghana cities for adults and 115 Ghana cities for kids between 5 and 12 years. Continental Restaurant 200 Ghana cities for adults and 100 Ghana cities for kids between between 5 and 12 years. Kids under 5 years eat for free. Come and enjoy live band and DJ music. For more information or reservation, please call 0268-710-684 or 0577-665-964. La Palm Royal Beach Hotel, uniquely golden, traditionally Ghanaian. Many who have gone to their graves with untold stories. Stories meant to change and transform lives. Don't let that happen to you. If a story isn't you, it has to come out. It must be told. Do you have an idea or a life-transforming story to share? Do you want to write a book but don't know how? Let the expert writers at Reveal Multimedia help you out. Are you a preacher with a desire to convert your sermons into books and other readable materials? Reveal Multimedia offers efficient and on-time audio-to-text transcriptions services at a very affordable price. We also transcribe interviews, documentaries, etc. We offer other editorial services such as editing and proofreading. That's not all. At Review, the author and his or her book are our priority. We are the brain behind the Writer's Blog, a book review program which airs on Sunny FM and Sunny TV, meant to celebrate authors and their works, as well as promote other stakeholders in the publishing industry. We offer PR services for authors with top-notch publicists who create thrilling stories, book reviews and commentaries, organized book launches and related events to provide mileage on all meaningful media platforms for the author and their works. Call on us today to help bring every creative idea to life. For more information, call, text or send a WhatsApp message to 0552-535-036 or 0208-428-322. Send us an email, revealmultimediagh at gmail.com, Facebook, Instagram and YouTube. YouTube at Reveal Multimedia GH. Our website is www.revealmultimediagh.com. Reveal Multimedia. Dreams come alive. Welcome back. This is the Writer's Blog Talk Show. We're coming to you live from La Palm Royal Beach Hotel. It's really exciting right here and sharing on this amazing topic with uh, Mama Kathy. She is truly passionate about this. And we pray that the Lord through her will continue to restore marriages, relationships, and families. Remember, this particular show is powered by Review Multimedia. Uh, they are into audio to text transcription, editing, and proofreading. Uh, PR for authors. Maybe you've written a book. You've not launched it yet. Get in touch with them. They can do that for you. They have what it takes to rewrite um, your old books and put it into, you know, make it brand new for you. They have... Radio TV, like we have here, uh, doing what we are doing, they can promote your works for you worldwide. Just give them a call. Number on your screen now, 055 Email also right there, Facebook, YouTube, all the links there. They say reveal multimedia, dreams. 
come alive. So I'm here with Mama Kathy. We are discussing from her book, Secrets to Surviving Your Early Years of Marriage. Mama Kathy, let's go right into chapter one of this book. You spoke about settling your identity. And I love the quotes that come before every chapter. And for this chapter, you, 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 the quote is, there will never be any lasting marital bliss for marriage, for a marriage saddled with a partner who has issue with his or her true identity. And um, why do you say this? Because we are who we perceive we are. Our actions are determined by who we see ourselves to be. And so if I don't see myself healthy, every comment a person makes affects me will affect me. Mm. If I don't see myself secure, every move a person makes will affect me. Mm. If I don't see myself confident, every action carried out will be misinterpreted because we are who we think we are. Proverbs 23, 7. As a man thinketh, so is so he. Is he. If I feel that I'm not beautiful enough, I'll go and bleach just to get my husband's attention. Mm. If I, th I feel that I, my figure is not good enough, it, uh, my perception will directly affect my response to my spouse. So marriage cannot work until I have allowed God tell me who I am and I've accept that I am his beloved and mm. that I am perfect from head to toe. Mm. The way I am, I don't need to do nothing to win anybody's love. Unfortunately, this has been the problem. And so there's a lot of insecurity yeah. because of poor perception of who people think they are. Identity crisis. Mm. Identity crisis. It's all over the place. So what do we have? Men and women whole life has thrown things at them. And they haven't been able to take a step back to clean themselves up and reaffirm that they are good enough in mm. spite of their experiences. Mm. Now, the one person that comes and says, I love you, the love there is like something you have been deeply hungry for. And so without even sitting back to say, for what reason is this person expressing this love? You just jump embrace it, it jump mm. at it, because mm. you feel you have been denied acceptance and love for so long. Mm. So at the end of the day, the person you have accepted based on probably actions and initiatives the person, you know, um, took up, mm. now begins to act like every human being will act. And then you lose yourself again because now you feel the only person I trusted, loved and cared for is now attacking my person. Mm. So marriage works. When we sit down and say, my mother, my father may have said I'm not good enough. There was comparative analysis in my family, my friends, look down on me, people betrayed me, all manner of those things that happened to me, what I have grown up to believe about myself, that I am able to take the word of God and take it literally for what it is, that I am created in the image, image. of God mm. and that I am fearfully and wonderfully made, that if I'm too fit, that was the image God wanted to see. <laughs> oh, so. Even as I'm tiny as my weight is four, size four. Mm. That is what God wanted. For as long as I'm living healthy and I know that every effort has been made, I still remain four. There is a reason he kept me at four because my assignment is tied to my identity and it's tied to my packaging. Wow. So it's not about going out there. I see size 10. I say, I wish I were like that because I see people gravitate towards size 10. Mm. I, I wish I would be like that. Mm. Or I see a man who, who was not respected at home. And then this man now, every little thing he takes personal because of the insecurity he had gone through at home. Now he wants to make sure that he puts the woman under his, his feet, feet just so that he can get what he never got as a child. Mm. So a lot of problems we are encountering in marriage is as a result of poor self-image. Mm. Wow. Poor self-identity. Wow. Wow. Identity crisis everywhere. Because Vicky, I can tell you without a shadow of a doubt, sitting here, and I want every person watching us to hear this. Even if, God forbid, my husband were not to tell me I love you till I die, it does not change me. Neither will it stop me from being the best wife that God has made me to be. Right. Because I am not dependent on him solely. I am dependent on the God that created me. Mm. And I know marriage is assignment. So I will not relate to him based on his actions towards, towards me. me. 
That's right. That is identity well defined, mm. well appropriated, mm. and well situated for, for a person who wants to succeed in marriage. Without that, you are not going to go far. You'll go sleep with another person. You'll be very cantankerous and nasty mm. because there is a way we respond when we feel rejected. Yeah. There is a way humans respond to abandonment and loneliness. Mm. Mm. And so many people are lonely in marriage. So, but you know, in certain situations, you find out that maybe you are the female with purpose and this person you are married to doesn't really have a, a sense of maybe where he's headed. And so as you are pursuing your purpose, he sees it as a threat. Uh, and, and how do you deal with that? Because we've seen stories all over, even um, with issues with um, uh, the late Osinachi and, and all of that. You wonder, the nearing man, but... You know, you sit back and you're like, she was fulfilling destiny. She was fulfilling purpose. So why did he have to do what he did to her? I'll answer that question in two ways. One, okay. I believe that the unmarried generation should not wait to enter into marriage before they know who will support their yeah. God-given calling. Mm. When you marry for the wrong reasons or because of poor self-image or identity, okay. you, are, you may embrace somebody that looks like, but because your lenses were not clean and clear, you embrace thorn mm. that was looking like love. Mm. <laughs> you see, when, when during your unmarried years, you have not figured God out. That does not have, have, it doesn't have anything to do with church attendance or even preaching. You <laughs> can preach, you can raise the dead, mm. you can do all of this because God will not jeopardize his calling upon you because you are immature. So, you know, after you had exhausted all that you could possibly, you know, look into to restore order, you can now, after all of this, decide to say, sweetheart, I sense it's a time. I sense that I need to do something. But if you still disagree, I would want a separation. You can pull apart. I didn't say divorce. Mm -hmm. I said separation mm -hmm. until sanity comes. Because you are not fighting for yourself. You are fighting for God. And so in the separation, I think that order will come back and then we'll look at things holistically and then you can come back again. Basically that and then we're good to go. This is really, really amazing. And like I'm saying, uh, this is just chapter one, set, Settling Your Identity. We are here with Mama Kathy. We are discussing from her book, Secrets to Surviving Your Early Years of Marriage. Mama Kathy, I know we will not be able to exhaust all the chapters, but let's just round these um, chapters up for them before we end with um, the very chapter I think that we can dwell more on. So that who talks about embracing the choice. What, what is that? Embracing the choice means after you have done your due diligence and you found yourself in this marriage. Remember, you mentioned emphatically navigating. You can navigate what you are not ready to sit down and say, God, whatever the case may be, nothing falls out of your hands, slips out of your mm. hand. So um, chapter two deals with your ability to embrace your choice. Because all things together work for, for good. good. The good, the bad, the ugly. Mm. You may not even know why you came into this marriage. God may have blindfolded you and brought you in. And like I said earlier on, it was to address something in that generation, in that family line, that nobody has been willing to do. And so you are blindly in here. So why don't you now begin to say, God, help me. Because I don't, I don't seem to understand what is mm. going on. Mm. Don't do comparative analysis in marriage. Marriage A, marriage B, marriage C, all of them have unique purposes. If you want your marriage to look like marriage A, you may miss out. Mm. Because what God wants to use each marriage to accomplish is it's uniquely different. different. Mm. He may decide to send you on a journey that is so painful. That journey will not end in pain. It's just because he wants you to pay a price. And you've got to understand that it's high time we know that. I may be in a marriage, God forbid. That my spouse or I myself, I have real problems. Let me even use an example. You are in a marriage with a spouse who is promiscuous. Mm. And then they come and preach to you. The only sin that allows for divorce is uh, adultery. It's a lie. It's not true. It's not true. Don't allow anybody to deceive you. It's not true. 
Adultery is not the reason for divorce. It's fornication or sexual immorality. It is when you divorce and then you remarry that you commit adultery. Mm. Mm. I don't know how the devil succeeded at um, making people think wow. that it's adultery that should make you divorce. No. He said in sexual immorality, some translations say fornication. That means whatever would have happened sexually before marriage, like between Joseph and Mary. Mm. They, he thought because of this woman carrying, I'll put her away privately. They were not formally married. Mm -hmm. But be, 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 between that, uh, within that time frame, he was free to let the woman go. But when you come into marriage, you've got to understand, I love what is coming into my spirit now, which enlightens a lot, of, a lot more things in the book. Marriage is a covenant. That's why you must not marry in a hurry. Don't. I'm not, I'm not saying go and die inside marriage, oh, no. <laughs> so this is how I'll end chapter 2. Chapter 2 says, embracing, the embracing choice. your choice. That's right. The only way you will embrace your choice beautifully is if you understand Genesis 38. It's in the book, read it. Genesis 38 talks about Tamar and Judah. Hmm. Tamar married Judah's first son. The guy misbehaved, God killed him. <laughs> Inherited the second brother. <laughs> he misbehaved, God killed him. Hmm. This Canaanite woman still got stuck in that family. In this our generation, if God succeeds in helping you kill your enemy, that's your husband, won't you go and give testimony? <laughs> I didn't touch him. God killed him. God delivered me from this useless family. But the woman stayed with his first husband, mm. second husband. Mm. And even when the third was denied him, he disguised as a prostitute to sleep with the father of these guys just so that he can still remain in that family. When you you know that you have chosen somebody. Stay there. She stayed there and her name is in Matthew chapter 1. It's not every evil mm. that is evil. Mm. But you need help as you go through it. And that is why you must get this book. Mommy, it's online, right? It's online. Okay, how do we get access to it? Please um, get to Amazon. Okay. Because the hard copy was exhausted. We, we are yet to go to... To, for reprint. For reprint. Okay. So go on Amazon and just type in Secrets Secret. to Surviving mm. Your Early Years of Marriage by Catherine Owe Odwoke. The moment you type the, the title of the book, it will pop up. What you do is just click there, put it in the cart, it will be delivered. If you want hard copy, it will be sent to you in a matter of days. If you want soft copy, you can download it on Kindle. Okay. So please get the book on Amazon. Secrets to Surviving Your Early Years of Marriage. I'm sure the link is on your screen now as you're watching us. Make sure you're getting this particular book for yourself and your home. We have feeling stuck looking into the real mirror, a spiritual dimension, a word to the wearied, and of course chapter 7, the final word. When we are back from this break, I'm sure that Mama Kathy will pick just one of the chapters for us to finalize. But we're going for TWB Nuggets with Baba Ukra. Stay with us. This is TWB Nuggets. Hello and welcome to TWB Nuggets. We have started a new series on how to get the most out of reading a book. We talked about identifying your purpose for reading. Stop, ponder and take time to jot down ideas quotes, principles, etc. that can be easily applied to your life and reread books that interest you. Here is our third tip for this series. Practice and share what you learn. Some books are not just about words. They are chat, exercises and steps laid out for you. Do them. Do the exercise as suggested by the author. Work on the steps and execute on the plan from the book. What is the point in reading 200 books that doesn't have any impact in your life? One great way to make sure you learn the most from reading books is to share what you have learned. There is a saying that goes, I hear and forget. I see and I remember. I do and I understand. The best way to do this is to share the ideas you gather from reading a book with someone or a group. You can create a group on social media and share what you have learned. You can also share with family and friends 
or join a book club to suggest the books you have read to them. The Writer's Blog Fan Club or Book Club gives you this great opportunity to share from a wide range of books. To join, just send the word TWB Fan Club or TWB Book Club to 0208 428 322. That is 0208 428 322. Remember, you learn the most when you execute an idea from reading a book. And that is our tip for today. Tune in next week for another key tip on how to get the most out of reading a book. I'm Bob Okran and bye for now. Congratulations to Vicky, she's been so amazing. She's been able to find a niche for us Christian parents who are just looking for ways to empower and encourage our children. Seeing kids, parents, teachers coming together to talk about books, to talk about reading. I believe that the little ones who came around today have um, learnt a lot. It was amazing and I loved the part of the kids where you could colour, you could build houses out of blocks, make whatever you want. It's a kind of a marketplace where we brought together both writers to think through and relate to the value of reading. Today has been awesome. We've been able to introduce more people to the awesome work that Janelle has done. The two books were nicely patronized and we thank you. Coming face to face and joining many authors who have written amazing inspirational books was an exciting one for me. Also, the active involvement of children, especially at a young age, is a good turning point, especially for this particular program. With God's help, it's going to get better and bigger. Great job, Writer's Blog, and wish you all the best. Welcome back. This is the Writer's Blog Talk Show. We are discussing from Mama Kathy's book, Secrets to Surviving Your Early Years of Marriage. And she's empowering you and I. Yes, you can. If it's God's will, yes, you can. How do you navigate to your first few years of marriage and stay married as long as you live. We've talked about chapter one, settling your identity, embracing the choice. Um, um, of course, Mama Kathy is going to brush through some of the, the rest of the chapters. But as we do so, remember, my makeup is by FC Beauty. We are coming to you live from La Palm Royal Beach Hotel. Now, FC Beauty um, is really at the forefront of beauty therapy and hairdressing training for over two decades now right here in Ghana. In case you're looking for any of the award-winning programs, uh, you know, to be a part of makeup artistry, nail technology, manicure, pedicure, Swedish massage, facial therapy, eye technology, and various short programs, just make sure you're making your way to FC Beauty College. Numbers on your screen now, give them a call. Uh, you can just visit their ultra-modern campus at number X46, Marte Carpenter Street, next to Tunis, Montessori East Airport, Accra. You can also send the word FCBC Sunny to any of the numbers on your screen and you get 20% off all their programs. FC Beauty College, be much more. Now, Mama Kathy, you talked about feeling stuck, looking into the real mirror, spiritual dimension, a word to the weary, all of that. Now, these are really pointers to help us navigate and through the spiritual journey of marriage. What does it mean to feel stuck? I read a few things. Okay. As a husband or a wife, this is page 50. Page 50. I want us to go through the list enumerated below to see if you truly feel catch, feel mm. catched or feel stuck. Okay. You feel unhappy and worn out by your relationship. You feel happier away from your partner. Mm. You feel like you are talking to a wall when trying to communicate. Mm. You feel controlled or patronized. You feel restrained or suffocated by the marriage. You spend all your spare time worrying about your marriage. Mm. You have no choice, no opinion or right in the marriage. You don't feel valued or appreciated enough or at all. 
you always end up at fault or be blamed in every situation. Mm. You feel restricted and isolated from your friends, family, and everyone mm -hmm. else. You feel like a single parent rather than a partner in a marriage. You have been verbally attacked or put down in public by your partner. Mm. You have been cheated on, abused, or threatened by your partner, and he appears to see nothing wrong. Your dreams appear to have been pushed aside by your partner by refusing to pay attention or to listen to you. You feel ignored and belittled at every instance, or you feel a complete stranger in the home that is supposed to be yours. Mm. This and many more shows you you're stuck. But it's not the end of the road. Mm. They are counselors. Then you know you need help. Mm. Okay. So because of our time, let me quickly run to. There are some things I wrote there. Okay. Um, shift. You know, ability to move from being, feeling stuck is inability to shift. Shift is an acronym. Okay. So S there stands for, if you read the book, you'll find this in the book. S stands for um, specific, be specific, yes. Okay. Specify your desired outcome. In looking for help, what is the outcome you want to see? Number B is highlight, H, highlight yeah. Yeah. and categorize the, the obstacles, obstacles to change. change. Mm. Because sometimes we just blur over things. No. What do you want to see change in? Mm. And then you get to the next alphabet. It is what? I. I identify, identify the human, the human factor. factor. What is your own flesh playing? The role your flesh is playing. Mm. The role the flesh around you is playing. So that you can now sit down and do a thorough job. D is F. Find your alternatives. Mm. Find your alternatives. Then you move on to the last one. T, take discip um, disciplined, disciplined action. action. So if you want to shift from a bad marriage, if you follow this acronym, it is well explained. I can't take my time to explain it right, right now. I tell you the truth. You begin to see change in your marriage. Mm. Then we move on to chapter four, looking into the real mirror. Everything is not spiritual. Marriage should not be over-spiritualized. Hygiene has a place. Hmm. Homekeeping has a place. Hmm. Looking attractive has a place. Taking care of your family has a place. All of the human factor that must be considered, don't ignore it. Because if you ignore, it will affect you and it will affect the marriage. Right. So if you realize that your marriage is beginning to degenerate, Find out what are the things, what are the physical things that you're supposed to do. How will you be married to a man that you know God has lifted or a woman that God has lifted? Then you dress shabbily all the time. You don't take care of yourself. Mm. And then you can't cook. The house is not clean. The bathroom is dirty. Mm. And the, everything is night vigil and fasting. It doesn't work like that. <laughs> it doesn't work. Then I moved to the last bit I want to really emphasize on. This book is a must read, That's sincerely right. speaking. Right. You know, let me share a testimony with you. I went to, I mentioned the church, Cedar Mountain, one of those times to preach. Okay. And they had a visiting couple who are ministers from the UK. They had lived in the UK 40 years. And so I was with the book, so I just signed off one as a complimentary copy. Okay. The woman went and read, read, read. Then the husband called me and said, call my wife and tell my wife to drop your book because it's not Bible. Because this woman has read, had read it back to back, back to back, back to back. And then there was a wedding. And she ordered 250 copies and said, there is no need giving any gift wow. as wedding gift. Wow. This is the best wedding gift he can give at the wedding. It's a book that looks little. Mm. But if you, you read with the mindset yeah. of changing something, it will change you. Because perception matters a lot. Mm. But this is how we end. The last chapter before a word to the wearied yeah. is it has to do, this is chapter five, mm -hmm. spiritual, dimension. spiritual dimension. I want to quickly look at, let the people watching us now hear something. Okay. You see, there is something called the power of the birth canal. The power of the birth canal. Power of the birth canal is like a, a pregnant woman who goes to see a doctor when she's doing prenatal. Okay. And the, the doctor will want to find out what are the things that run through the bloodline. They will yeah. ask you, is there high blood pressure in your yeah. family, diabetes yeah. in your family? So they know how to manage, manage you. you. Mm. Marriage will not work seriously if you do not know the power of the birth canal. Every birth canal comes with positive and negative. If you haven't taken time to know what is in your birth canal and then dealt with it, it will frustrate your marriage. Number two, 
I mentioned the parental spiritual heritage. Mm. Spiritual heritage. There are some families that spiritually speaking, they are nowhere. And so they have allowed certain spirit to creep into their line, their bloodline. So if they are spirits that bear rule in your bloodline, it will affect how your marriage turns out. So you've got to also be able to do homework on this. Number three, exu um, um, I talked about effect of youthful exuberance and adventure. There are some people who during their youthful days, the womb was removed, but they are afraid to lose their spouses. And so they enter into marriage with no womb. Or they and, had abortion. And, and they don't tell. The they truth. can't tell. If you tell, you'll be blamed. How mm. will you tell? Mm. Not everybody is telling the truth about their lives. So at the end of the day, youthful exuberance may have opened you up to certain destructive tendencies. Own it up with God and trust that the change will come. Then territorial controlling powers. Mm. There are areas you go to live in. And when you live in those areas, you may be clean, no? your spouse may be clean, but because they are covenant in those vicinities that you may not have dealt with, mm -hmm. you may come under the direct control of those covenants. There are places you live in, marriages never work. Mm. It's even like homes. Mm. I have a friend who said the, the apartment they rented, the covenant with the person, the covenant with that apartment is that no, they don't hear the cry of a baby. And so there were four tenants in that apartment, in that building. Okay. And they never knew. None of them could carry seed until one of the couples got to know Jesus, got to find out by reason of our relationship with Christ okay. that for as long as they live in that house, wow. they will never conceive. Wow. And so she moved out and immediately she moved out. She conceived. They are controlling powers. Hmm. It's just like poverty. You can move into a territory that the custodian in the realms of the spirit have sworn nobody else raises their head. And so if you don't take your Christianity seriously, you'll come under that sledgehammer. Wow. So you've got to know this book is a must read. This is the book. Hmm. Go on Amazon. Hmm. Download hmm. it. It is not the only literature on hmm. marriage. But it will, it will add to the wealth of knowledge that God has given you through reading other godly materials. You add this one to it, your marriage will never remain the same. This is truly amazing. I wish we were not ending. There are also prayer points in there for each of these spiritual dimensions that you have mentioned. Yeah. Um, prayer, Father, in the name of Jesus, I take authority over every ancestral power that controls and determines how far mm -hmm. people go in their marriage Absolutely. in my bloodline mm -hmm. by destroying over me and my marriage. I mean, mm -hmm. if you have, if mm -hmm. you have these prayer points, well, why won't you pray? Mm -hmm. And why won't God have mercy on mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. and your relationship? This is truly awesome, mm -hmm. Mama Kathy, and I thank God for your life mm -hmm. and family renaissance. I thank God for what the Lord is using you to do. Really, your very final words. Yeah. Um, it, it is said that. Now in our time, even my young child can come to me and ask me mind-blowing questions about relationships, about sex, about what her peers are saying and what they are watching. And she'll say, Mommy, why do some parents allow their children to watch some of these, for example, soap operas, and they're discussing it, they're talking about scenes, about kissing, and, you know, and she's like, when I don't want to talk about it, I don't even want to be past, they don't understand. And they're like, you should let your mother let you watch, what is the big deal? And she's asking, mommy, is it right? So I want you to really talk to us in terms of parenting, and because you talk about the bloodline, the foundation, which is really the, the origin of all these issues we're having in our relationships and our marriages. I want you to talk to parents, talk to everyone who is watching us who needs to be encouraged and empowered in any way possible when it comes to relationships, marriage, and all of that. My word to you as a parent will be, first of all, model Christ, make your marriage attractive, but don't withhold information from your, parent, from your children because the world has been digitalized. Even if you don't expose your children to those things, mm. they will know because mm. they have friends at mm. school. Mm. And so I would want, my advice will be have family time once a week. That during that family time, ask your children to be open and don't use anything they say against, against them. them. Okay. Let them be transparent and very honest with you. 
Let them ask you anything. Let them ask you. I will say it on television. Discuss penis, vagina, discuss sex. Call the thing by name. They, since you stop calling, have people not been calling it? So what is this thing that you are hiding <laughs> under some shirts? No, no, everything is in the open. Talk about it mm. and let them understand their bodies. Let them understand that their bodies is not for public mm. consumption. Mm. Let them understand that your house is different. Let them understand that mommy and daddy, they are very wonderful and they have set boundaries for them. Let them be bold. Let them discuss freely and make them your friends. Making them your friend doesn't mean you won't discipline them. It's only knowing that there is there is, um, how do I put it now? You have been able to draw balance. There should be a balance okay. between discipline and love, love. and affection okay. and care. But let your children be your friends because the world has changed. Mm. The world has, we don't want to scum sit down and talk about this. But I think the greatest need, my son will always say, mommy, the greatest need of a child is to watch their parents' marriage working. When once they can trust you are marriage, mm. they will listen to you. But if they cannot trust you are marriage, because what that does is it unstable, it, it destabilizes yeah, them. Okay. So let them watch that your marriage can be trusted. And I tell you, they'll be open with you. And then you can discuss and have this family tradition of always sitting down to wrap minds together so you protect them from invaders from outside. Thank you so much, Mama Kathy. I sense in my spirit somebody is broken now. Um, in a relationship, somebody needs some guidance. I just want you to release a prayer for anybody who's watching us who needs any form of help at all. Father, in the name of Jesus, you know very well our God and our King that even talking about this matter, some people are really broken right now, weeping and wishing. Some of them wish they were in a better marriage. Some of them wish that their story were not the way it is mm. right now. Some of them have been wounded seriously, oh God. And Father, Lord, a wounded person cannot give life to another one. I pray in the name of Jesus that for the good marriages, the bad marriages, Lord, you show yourself strong. Amen. Continue to uphold them. Amen. Lord, grant them grace to seek help and lead them to where they'll get wholesome help in the name of Jesus. I speak to you. May God bind your broken heart. Amen. May God grant you wisdom. Amen. I hear in my spirit forgiveness mm. and I pray it right now. Amen. No matter how wounded you have been, as I hear, I speak. The grace to forgive, I release upon yes. you. And as you forgive, may God help you to see Amen. that your source is not your spouse. Mm. Your source is God. Mm. And as you reconnect back to God, may the battle becomes God. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Mama Kathy. God bless you for this one. The details are all there. In fact, contact number if somebody wants to get in touch with you. 0501 um, 2899955. 0501-289955. Once you get that number and you call, the person will connect put you, you through. Put you to, through yeah. and then connect you to me, please. Wonderful. The book we discussed today, Secrets to Surviving your early years of marriage how to navigate through your first years of marriage and um, stay married as long as you live mama kathy once again thank you so much for passing the pleasure through. is mine vicky thank um, you vicky and we're back next week same time right here on this channel with your favorite show this book review show the writer's blog remember uh we came to you live from la palm royal beach hotel we say the writer's blog read write indulge your mind hi I'm Vicky. I love books and enjoy reading. The first thing I do when I wake up in the morning is to read. If I go for a run, I listen to an audiobook. In my leisure moments, I read whilst enjoying some good music. Are you an avid reader or you're not learning how to read? Maybe you used to enjoy reading, but somehow it has become a thing of the past. Come on this journey with my guests and I as we dive into various books and themes. These books talk about... Every week, I speak to various authors who are behind life-transforming books, as well as promote various stakeholders within the publishing industry. The Kitty Zone segment on the show is meant specifically to ignite reading interest in your child. Watch the writer's blog on this station this and every Saturday at 4.30 p.m. and on sunny 88.7 FM every Saturday at 1 p.m.
This program is powered by Reveal Multimedia and supported by The Writer's Blog. Read, write, indulge your mind. Thank you for watching The Writer's Blog on this channel. If you want to sponsor, partner, advertise or have your book reviewed on the show, call or send a text or WhatsApp message to or send an email to follow us on social media. This program is powered by Reveal Multimedia. Join us next week for another exciting edition. The Writer's Blog. Read, write, indulge your mind.